Growing up in church, I remember seeing the light of the oil candles illuminating the faces of the saints. It was beautiful. I was mesmerized. I knew from then I wanted to learn how to paint icons. What I didn't know is where my journey would take me. Years later, I went to Mount Athos. I never dreamed that I would sit with masters of iconography continuing this timeless, ancient tradition of icon painting. I think we're the first, even though we're small, the first Western film crew that has ever come to film uh, the amazing frescoes uh, in, in beautiful spiritual iconography from Manuel Pancelinos. So honestly, when I wrote the letter, I didn't think that we were going to get a response. But I sent it with a prayer, and by the grace of God, we're on our way right now. Sitting with the fathers of Xenofondos Monastery, I learned how to draw, how to paint, how to mix color, and most importantly, the meaning of this ancient tradition of icon painting. After some time, I had to come back into the world. I felt orphaned. I didn't know how to continue without guidance. And there, God answered another prayer, where I met Dionysios Bulubasis. Hidden inside this church right here behind us is something stunning. The artist, almost like a Michelangelo, suspended 70 feet into the air in order to paint the dome. Carol Makita with an exclusive inside look of this ancient art form and the man bringing it to life. I thought my journey was just about learning how to paint, but it was much more than that. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church is reopening 20 years after it was destroyed on 9-11. It was about life. It was about faith. It was about love.